Hey everybody, thanks for checking this one out. We got another Daily C at Watkins Glen. We will be starting this one in P4. Got a couple names I've seen here before. Jay Prater, uh, Lopez I've seen around. We also got Junk Food Lover to go with Sugar Shuffles, so we'll see how that plays out. All right, let's get this race rolling. I like to take it nice and easy going into turn one and lap one. Uh, cold, hard tires, and just, it gets to be a mess. So let's take it nice and easy. And, and this right here is why uh, they get a little squirrely. Uh, looks like I'm going to grab this spot and move up to P3 for now. Coming into the bus stop, and I kind of missed my mark here. I come a little out too hot, and uh, I'm going to lose a lot of spots. I'm going to give back that spot I got on lap one, and uh, here comes another couple spots that I'm just going to give up. Uh, we'll have to get those back later, I guess. And a .5 pen to go with it, so we got some work to do. And... Easy work. We get some free spots with those guys uh, hitting the wall and running into each other. And I uh, have to get one spot back with that .5 pen. Hopefully we can hold. We got a pretty good gap here. So. At this point, we're really looking to settle in. Just need to settle in on those hards, put some, some good hard times down um, until I can hit the pits and really push on the softs. As you can see, we've been closing down this gap heading into the bus stop. And we'll get a little help there with a pen in front of us, so hopefully we can stay close to this group to grab that spot. We're going to just get in front of them before this turn. Hopefully we can hit the apex and just kind of park it, and get a decent runoff. And it looks like he's going to get a better run than us, so we're going to try the inside again. And he doesn't cut down on us, which is, which is good racing. He left the inside wide open and got the pass done. I was really surprised he didn't park it on the apex, though, and uh, just keep me back. I had enough room to do it, I wouldn't have been too upset about it. But he gave me the spot, I don't have to deal with him anymore, and we're just going to settle back into this lap uh, and get on the sauce. And here we have another turn one wide victim. Should be picking up a penalty here for that, and uh, hopefully that's another spot.
tried giving Hunter the push there so we could both go by on this bus, and unfortunately, Junk Food Lover jumped right up in front of him before he could get by, and it kind of cost a bit of a mess. Thank Thankfully, we all held on to it. I end up losing a spot here, but uh, I think we can get these spots back, especially if I'm going to undercut this with coming in on three laps. These guys are still getting squirrely up here. This has been the story of this race so far, following these guys. Not squirrely enough to get by them, but just enough to kind of be worried. Went a little deep there and uh, lost some some spot or some some time, but we're gonna come into the pits anyways. Not a huge deal. Hopefully we can gain that back with this undercut. By the way, I found this undercut works a lot better in, in these lower lobbies. Uh, it's a lot tougher when I'm in the A lobbies on my main account pushing a lot harder I feel and uh, the last lap gets really sketchy when you when you do three hards and seven softs uh, in those upper splits you, you really push a lot harder it seems when you got these fast guys around you this, this lobby wasn't quite as fast so I just somehow settled into you know just a safe pace and uh, it seemed to work out in the end but I, I did notice when when I'm on my main and racing against other A and A pluses my tires die if I try to do the 3-7 split. I normally have to try a 4-10 split um, so I can really push. Alright, we come come back around on our outlap. There are some guys pitting for the 4-6 split. And uh, got a caution here, but I, I didn't really see anybody. Um, we're going to come back out, and our friend Juan is uh, coming back out with us. Uh, we'll get a run by him here. Hopefully we can keep him behind us so we don't have to, we don't have to deal with him. Normally those cold sauce. A little bit slower than one might have been warmed up for a lap, so should be able to keep them back and start gapping. Honestly, this is not what I was hoping for. Uh, I haven't hit my marks. Oh, see you later. I haven't hit my marks here, and he's just been tailing me and putting me under pressure. I just keep keep missing my marks. That was that was a decent apex there. Um, but we really, really wanted to start pushing away from this guy. Right there we see Lopez went to pits. He was on the sauce. 
Um, so we're going to see how that works out for him. He's going to be switching onto the hards here uh, for the last 10 laps. And he was, he was running up front. So we'll see how that plays out for him. Um, junk Food Lover is also in the pits. We should be able to hopefully grab his spot too. The Junk Food Lover will be coming out on the sauce behind us. Lopez did have a good gap on us before. Again, he started on the sauce, he was up front running. So we're gonna see if we can run him down. Um, but we, we got some work to do here. And the other two, I don't believe Hunter has pitted yet. We were running with him before. Um, and the other guy I don't believe has pitted either. So they should be coming in here shortly. Once again, I get a little wide here. We're really not on our game, and it gives Juan the spot, but he's got a 1.5, so we're not too worried about that. We still got a lot of space back there to Prater. And my main concern is just just eating away at that time between myself and Lopez. And there we have it. Hunter's coming into the pits. He was on sauce. Um, so he's going to be on hearts too. And we were running with him before. I'm not too worried about having to, having to catch and pass him. Um, we'll see where he comes out after the pits here. But either way, he's going to be on hearts. Hopefully he doesn't get in our way, cause traffic. Um, but let's see. Let's, let's keep running down Lopez here and see what we can do. And there, we got both of them on the undercut, which is actually surprising since Hunter was on sauce. Normally the undercut works better when, uh, when they're on hards and I go into pit early with sauce. But we still got a, a one second gap here. Hopefully we can pull away a little bit more um, and keep closing that gap to Lopez. Just put down a purple lap sector one. So hopefully we can do that on two and and finish the lap off and grab that fastest lap from Williams. There it is, there's the fastest lap, uh, 145.9. Pretty sure I can still do better than that in race. Uh, but we got the, the fastest lap and we are down to 3.5 seconds in closing on Lopez. So the, the leader is in sight. We got three laps to get it done and we're just gonna keep pushing.
we're down to 1.3 seconds here heading into turn one. During the actual race, I wasn't actually sure what tire compound he was on. I completely missed his pit stop. Um, to be honest, I wasn't even really looking ahead to Lopez. I was looking at the other guys I was in the group with. And I figured with Lopez having that big of a gap, he was probably on sauce. Um, but I wasn't sure. So right now, I have no idea what I'm trying to catch. It's hard, softs. It, it seems like I'm closing really fast, so he's probably at hearts. But I'm also putting down a lot of purple sectors, so you know I wasn't sure. Maybe he just was missing his marks a lot. I was too far back until I, I closed down here to within a second to really know. So right now, I'm not even sure. Um, I'm just going to push like he's on softs. Um, and just expect it, but I still know it's going to be hard to get around him on, on hards. He's probably going to try to block some. Definitely by now, follow him a little bit. I did get the feeling he's on hearts. He's kind of missing his spots a little bit. You can tell coming out, he, he can't get on the power as early. Um, a little bit less grip, uh, not being able to keep it inside on the apex as much. Um, so I'm feeling good about getting this pass done. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push it too hard. I'm not gonna risk anything taking us both out. Um, he's gonna try to break the slipstream here, and I'm happy to take this outside. He, hopefully he stays clean here. And uh, he does. We both actually take it too wide. I didn't want to cut him off. It seemed like he actually braked to give me that. Um, but I, I extra braked just because I was worried about him punting me off to the side. So we ended up sitting side by side, and I got the pass done anyways. But he got a good run since I went so deep. And uh, that's super on this straight when you get a good run. It's hard for the GTR to uh, hold him off. So he's going to try to take this into the bus. I'm not going to push again. I... I know I have the pace on him. I don't want to risk anything, take him out. I got some more turns to get this done. But we're having a, it's a fun battle. I'm, I'm still pushing these softs are worn. I'm almost all the way on red on that uh, left front. So let's, let's keep seeing if we can push. We gotta find a spot here. Um, I'm not exactly hitting my marks, so. And there's a big bobble by him. Um, good on him. He didn't push me wide into the grass after that, and we didn't get into each other. I had that happen a lot this week. Uh, I wasn't able to close the door there. I was a little worried that that was going to be my blind spot and I was going to spin myself out. So I didn't close the door. I didn't park it. Parked it here, and we're going to get a good run, and uh, hopefully a good run into this last fast left. And it looks like he might have had a bobble. And right there, that was finally the win. He put up a tough fight considering he was on hards. I know I was on really worn out softs, but normally it, it's not comparable. Hards and worn out softs, those worn out softs still are really good compared to those hards here at Lock and Glen this week. So that was a fun battle with Lopez. He, uh, he was clean, especially considering he was on hards. Uh, we never made contact and he really did push. He, only only behind by 0.6 after all of that so good on Lopez that was a fun battle and that was a, a P1 at Watkins Glen International thanks for tuning in hit that like hit that subscribe button and check back in for more daily videos